Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm JC and in today's video I'm going to be talking a bit about distracted while writing. Or better yet, how not to be distracted while writing, which is a problem I am currently struggling with. And I thought I can't be the only one struggling with this right now, so I thought I'd talk about it with you guys. Maybe I'm not on that limb by myself. So, so the way I compiled this was I tried to figure out what my main distractions were at the moment and I have four main distractions right now um, that plague me while I am writing and I've developed some ways to combat them so far they are working so number one the phone so I'm an introvert I don't have that big of a circle of friends that I talk to, but the few that I do talk to, we're all very busy in our own little collective lives. Um, and then I have my sister who I talk to on a regular basis. So, you know, we don't get a lot of time to talk to one another. We text more so than talk on the phone, but we're busy, so not a lot of time to do that either. So I tend to when the phone rings or I get a text, I want to immediately answer it or respond because time with friends is precious, particularly if you already know that the time you get is limited. So I do, I don't typically, I don't have a concrete writing routine. That's a whole nother video of me trying to figure out what that writing routine is. Hmm or working out that writing routine. Um, I don't have a concrete writing routine, so I can't let people know, okay, between this time and this time, don't call me or don't text me because I'm not always writing through to, in the same time frame. So it's a little hard for me to be like, okay, this person is calling me. I haven't talked talk to them in a good month or so maybe longer than that and I kind of want to talk to them but I'm writing but I kind of want to talk to them so I tend to answer the phone I tend to text it's not a good thing so what I have started to do is um, I know everyone in the author 2 community knows about Forest App see right now I have a sunflower that I'm growing so what I do is I turn my app on to okay Typically, we would use the Forest app in in sprints, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, whatever sprint you're doing. But what I tend to do, I use the Google Timer for my sprints, but I use the Forest app for my entire length of a writing session. So if I'm going to be writing for four sprints, so at 20 minutes each, that's I'll give myself an hour and a half. So I'll put it on 90 minutes, and with the Forest app. I can't the phone will ring and I will hear it but I cannot answer it or I will wither my trees so I don't like to wither my trees so I don't answer the phone I can't look at the text message well I can see it if it pops up in the top of the, where the notification pop up at but I can't respond because I will wither the tree so I don't so I usually put that on um Another thing I have also started to do was I'll go in another room or I'll put my phone in another room and that way I either don't hear it when text messages pop up or I'll be so engrossed in my writing I'm not going to get up to go back into the other room to get the phone. And then also you could just turn the phone off while you're writing but I don't typically like to do that because sometimes my mom might need me and she might call me or whatever and my mom lives down the street so if anything happens or any type of emergency I want to make sure that the phone at least rings. So distraction number two for me is social media. I can't be the only one that falls down the social media rabbit hole and starts scrolling incessantly. So yeah again four step um some other more how do I say? Hmm. Some other 
more extensive productivity or time management apps um, that help better with the social media thing is um, looked up desk time, time flow, self control, stay focused, and an app called Freedom. Um, I've tried out a couple of those. Still particularly like Forest app. I just it I can't read my do my social media either when Forest app is on. But there is did find a little a little hang up with Forest app. I can still see my instant messenger feed with Forest app on. But so that's a problem. But so I I bounce between different. Um, productivity apps to try to balance out which ones work best at whichever time. So another thing to combat the social media rabbit hole that we sometimes fall in, to turn the notifications off on your cell phone. Um, because I get, and I'm on Facebook and Twitter, so um, I get notifications constantly every time someone comments on something that I've commented on on a post or some comments on one of my posts. I get a notification and it's it's just instinct for me to want to check it and look at it but if I turn the notifications off then I won't even know that anyone commented on those so there's that um, So distraction number three for me is TV, most particularly the news. Um, so over the last 12 months or so, I've become incessant about watching the news. Um, I need to know what's happening. I need to know what's going on or crazy thing is happening. And, um, you know, it's a little better since January 20th, if you know what I mean. But I still want to know what's going on in the world and um, I'm a little hypersensitive to things going on now and what's in the news and I feel like if I miss a piece of news I have missed a chunk of something major that I needed to know so and um might be my anxiety about everything going on but whatever so I tend to um because I can't write in absolute silence just can't and when I'm trying to really focus on a particular writing project I can't write with music that has lyrics because I'll just start singing and because I really love music so that's not a good idea either and I'm not really much for writing to um, non lyric music like music that doesn't have lyrics so um, I tend to put on the TV in the background for some noise Usually, I can tune it out, but over the last year, like I said, I've been kind of hyper-focused on the news and I can't seem to tune it out, so I'll end up turning up the news and not writing. So, what I try to do now, find a live stream, one, maybe, because then I'm not in complete total silence and I'm not writing alone and it allows me to get the work done and not be hyper focused on the news I'll turn on my little um I have a little screensaver on my TV with the aquarium and the fish or whatever so I'll put that on with the live stream so that I can still have something to look at in the background but it won't be the news um and plus I need to cut my news alerts off because I have those too but um also I have ambient sound um no ambient ambient sounds yes i have a i have a playlist with ambient sound ambient i'm pronouncing it so wrong ambient sounds on youtube and i have a playlist and i have two favorites in particular actually i wanted to show them to you so this is my ambient uh, ambient playlist. I don't know why I keep saying the word wrong. So, one of my favorites is if it would play. That'd be nice. And, of course, you have to wait for the little ad to go by. Skip ad. So, one of my favorites 
pain it's like one of my top favorites the rainy day at the coffee shop is one of my favorites however i have discovered a new favorite now i have a bunch of them waves crackling fireplace um i even have a harry potter one um library sounds which probably would be my third favorite really now i can't just do complete rain with nothing else because then i might fall asleep but I like that, the coffee shop noises. But I have a new favorite one. And then there's also the one with the typewriter noises as well. But my new favorite. It's the, it's the beautiful snow, relaxing wind and fireplace sound. So you can hear the crackling of the fireplace. But you still get the apparent the snow falling. And it's not like I'm actually looking at it while I'm writing. But... I know that it's snow falling when I turn back to it. So, those are my two favorites. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave my ambiance sounds of the fireplace crackling with the snow falling in the background. But number four, distraction for me, is shining new ideas. So, I don't know about you, you guys, but I get a lot of new ideas while I'm writing on my current projects. And it's, it's, uh, I don't want to sound like I'm not grateful for the ideas because there was a time when I had some serious writer's block and couldn't come up with anything. So I'm very grateful for the ideas. I just wish the characters would stop coming to me while I'm working with other characters on their story at the moment. That is all. I, um, I tend to get the vast majority of my ideas when I am not like when I am like not not just currently working on a, a project but like actually writing in my writing session on that project something and sometimes it's my own fault because it'll be something I typed and it'll make me think of something completely different and a whole nother idea and a little character will pop up at me and say hey that that that's my story I'm next Yes, they really do that to me. Um, I did have one new idea recently. And it kind of, well, it, it kind of combined an idea I had had previously, but I just kind of put it out of my head because I didn't really know how to make it work or how I was going to make it work. But my daughter actually said something. And she said something about a dream she had. And something she said about the dream she had sparked and connected to the previous idea. And it was like, it was a completely different idea, but I kind of merged the two. And um, when I get around to tackling it, it will be my first attempt at a paranormal fantasy type of thing. I, I don't really know how to describe it. I'm not even gonna try to describe it right now because I haven't fully fleshed the idea out myself. It's just, it's a really neat idea. I'm really excited about like really taking the time at some other point and sitting down and fleshing out the idea. But for now, um, what I have come to do, because sometimes when I have an idea and I don't put it down real quick, I'll forget it. And um, my memory these last few years has just been like completely not there like I'll forget something and I'm like what did I just I just had this idea like where did it go so I've opened up I have two methods um I have a file document on my computer where if I'm in the middle of typing and it's quicker to reach to open the document rather than to get my idea notebook then I will just open the document and it just says new ideas. And so I'll just create a file on this whole new idea. Or otherwise, what I'd rather do, I showed you guys before, this is my idea book. So this is the, that's the book that I have all my writing ideas in. And um, that particular day where the idea came up, I actually wasn't in the middle of writing, but so I had time to go write it down. So I have my idea notebook. I have my idea file folder in case I can't get to my notebook. Um, and if that doesn't work, I 
have it you know I have done this in the past like if I got if you get an idea when you're in the car driving and of course you can't write anything down and you're not by your computer so you can't type anything on your new idea folder so you pull out your phone with the recorder app and you dictate your ideas and that way you purge your new shiny ideas and they're not like sitting there on your brain getting in the way of your current writing project that you are currently trying to finish and it can be super annoying because it's new ideas like hey what about me and don't I get a turn and you're like not now not now wait wait your turn so yeah but those are my main main distractions that are really getting my way lately um I'm just it, I'm starting to combat those issues, but um, towards the end of last year, they started to really, really be a, a problem, especially that social media rabbit hole. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. I have not gotten in the swing of things like I want to yet, um, but but I'm getting there and getting past this, these distractions that keep me from writing or try to anyway that it's a big help so hope some of these suggestions have helped you in some way or will help you in some way combat some of those distractions that tend to pop up while you're writing so that's going to be it for this video if you like what you see and you want to see more videos from me make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and let me know in the comments what other methods to, do you use to keep you from getting distracted curious. So that's it. Have a blessed day. Bye. Four things. Four tips. No. Four ways. Not entirely sure how to say this. say this right so